It feels so good to be filming again. Construction is done, not technically, but it's done for today and I am so excited to be here. Hello, let's get into it. Hello book reading friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Mel and today I am here with my first ever Lumic Read unboxing for the month of March. This is actually super exciting because this is my first month as an Lumic Read rep which I, you guys, I am not going to lie, stopping myself from spoiling everything was really hard because patience in this household is non-existent and so I really wanted to peek and I really wanted to watch unboxing videos. I have even not watched my friends videos. I just wanted to go into this one blind and I really just wanted to see what was up with the box and what was in here. I literally also have no idea what the book is. Usually when I look at the little excerpt, the little synopsis that they put in there, I'm typically very good at guessing, I'm not gonna lie, but this time around I am so lost. So I do have my first box right here. It is unfortunately not in the yellow box. I was really excited to get a yellow box, but, but I am holding out to hope that maybe next month will come in a yellow box because I kind of want a yellow box just to have as decor at the top of my bookshelves. And before I even get started, if you do want to sign up to a Lumacrate, I do have a rep code for y'all. So I do have the code MELREADS5 and that will give you 5% off a three month or a six month subscription from a Lumacrate, which is really pretty neat if I do say so myself. So I am excited, I am ready, got the goods, got the knife. As per usual, the trusty thing, I really shouldn't be waving it like this. We did, ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm excited. This is what the box looks like once you open it. This is the spoiler card and this says Fighting Spirit March 2021 and the theme for April is Dearly Departed. I am actually really excited to see what April has in store. There's already some items that they've teased that I am very excited about but let's see what's up with March. The first thing we have here is the exclusive mug that says there and back and they actually did tell us what this mug like what fandom it would be from. So I do know this mug is meant to be inspired on the dark artifices. I reread is happening soon so this is honestly perfect. Oh my god could you I can read the dark artifices and use the dark artifices mug. That'll be a really cute moment honestly. I'm in love with that. Let's see what this looks like. I also appreciate the wrap Thing. I am always scared with ceramic when it's like internationally shipped because as you guys know I live in Panama so it's like always scary that stuff will break and so I really appreciate the sturdy packaging. This is oh my god this is stunning. It's Emma with Cortana and Julian. I just look at them the little runes the runes on her leg the attention to detail here is fantastic i am literally in awe of the little details the bow and arrow we honestly got a strong start with that mug i'm gonna i'm gonna be one of those youtubers that puts everything on the background that's gonna be me but that's a really strong start actually for the box i look if there's one thing that i have always wanted with illumicrate boxes and just like book boxes in general i love the ceramic pot and the mugs and just like the little trinkets that I can either use to like store my bookmarks or like store my pens like anything that I can kind of double as something for my stationery I'm a really big fan of okay oh wait this is the monthly pin do I want to open the monthly pin right now no let's reach for something else okay oh wait is this supposed to be is this supposed to be for pins okay I don't know if you guys know this about me but I have been collecting pins for years 11 years I've been collecting pins for 11 years so if this is for pins I think I'm actually gonna have to check the spoiler card for this but if I can use use this to kind of pinch the pins that'll be really cool and this also says take what you will not to take what you will pin hoop okay it is a pin hoop i actually have kind of the um, land yards is that what you call them where i put the pins in but this will actually look so much prettier and it's something that i could you could even like put in front of your books that way and you can use that as decor so that is really really nice okay that's really cool let's see what else we have Oh, fabric? <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is a tote bag. This is nice. Oh my god, I can use this when I go shopping, book shopping, or even when I go <laughs> when I go get my snacks. This is a pretty, pretty tote. Oh my god. This kind of okay, I don't know if you guys know which artist I'm talking about. Don't know their name. This kind of illustration reminds me of the person who illustrated the cover for Spin the Dawn in the UK. I do not know if this is the same person and I also have no clue 
which fandom this is from. So I guess for this one, the tote bag I saw it, it's... Wait, Winter Night. Winter Night. Why does that ring a bell? I need to double check this book because Winter Night does ring a bell. I have heard of this before. I am Goodreads searching the book because this actually... Oh, wait! This is from The Bear and the Nightingale. That's the Winter Night trilogy. I don't know if I'm the only one, but when I see fan art, when I see illustrations, it makes me want to read the book. This is stunning i oh my god wait i actually need to look for this illustrator i won't yes it is see i knew i recognized this illustration style this is stunning i am definitely going to be using this i am reaching into the box magical box Ooh. oh this is spooky i like it okay so this is a heart a, a spooky heart don't know which fandom this is from so we're gonna find out together but this is really pretty. I typically don't wear um, silver jewelry. As you can see, I'm more of like a gold jewelry type of person. I will admit though, a lot of pretty jewelry is better in silver than it is in gold. So I am definitely excited to wear this. Oh, and it's heavy too. That's nice. This is nice quality. It's heavy. It's hefty. So definitely when I wear my silver jewelry, you'll see me wearing this. This is nice. Oh, wait, this is inspired in The Bone Witch. Another book that I have yet to read, but I do own The Bone Witch and I actually really want to read it soon. So this is really cool. And I actually have The Bone Witch at a place where I could even place this necklace as kind of like the core on of the book it's the fact that it's heavy that makes me really happy like it feels nice like it doesn't feel cheap i guess like this feels really really nice quality i think we're down to oh what is this this is wood oh <gasps> yes oh my god yes what is this okay first off this is a wooden bookmark the amount of times that i have been begging for a a nice bookmark and b a wooden bookmark i want to be cool like the people that's all i ask for i just want to be cool so this is really nice what fandom is this from rats dogger dogger come on mel dagger mark this is it's from kingdom of the wicked this is from kingdom of the wicked my boy wrath my hot boy wrath i just love this this is so nice i didn't know this is what the, this is not how i picture the dagger but this is so cool you guys know i'm deadly afraid of snakes but this one doesn't look that bad i hope they keep doing wooden bookmarks in the future i kind of just want a pretty bookmark collection illumicrate give it to me okay i think that's all that we have in regards to the items so let me run quickly before we jump into the book who made each item like who designed it so for the mug it was rosie thorns 88 on instagram and then the wooden bookmark is designed by stacy mcavoy Kant. i will make sure to link all of the artists down below in case you want to follow any of them on instagram and then the tote bag of course by my girl kelly chong hi kelly you don't know me but hi because oh that illustration style is stunning she is after blossom underscore art and then the pin hoop was designed by vicky over at forensics and flowers and then the necklace was designed by noon design so again, all of them will be linked down below for the start of the show, the actual book. I am literally closing my eyes. Can you guys see it? Could you imagine if the book is backwards? That'd be hilarious. Anyway, pin first. I really want to open the pin first, see if it gives me any clues. Let's see. The little pin pin. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I haven't, I, I'm very scared. Why am I scared? Don't ask me. Oh, this is also designed by Stacy. Who made, what did she make? Stacy made something. Stacy. You made something? The bookmark. So Stacy made the bookmark and the pin for this month. She could choose what she fought for. Monthly enamel pin inspired. I just saw the book. All of the entire video is me avoiding looking at the book and I literally just directly stared at it. So now this is a nice sagu into the actual book because I already know what it is. So there's literally no point in me hiding anymore. Let me just throw the box on the floor and the book is actually the unbroken by cl clark and it came in this nice little wrapper even though this is not like the usual illumicrate setup with the yellow box and they also do like a little pouch for the actual book even though it's not the regular setup i like that they still went out of their way to make sure that everything was wrapped nicely oh my god this is my first book with sprayed edges y'all this is extra special because i own no books with sprayed edges so this is pretty freaking cool oh my god i have heard of this book i have not read this book and i also don't know what it's about so this is really cool mm. 
Got the burgundy sprayed edges. Oh, they look so smooth. Let us see. Oh, it has foiling under the dust jacket. It's gold. It says every empire demands revolution. That is so, so cool. And then I'm pretty sure, oh my God, it's signed by the author too. That is all hella Hella nice. Oh, and I love the fact that it says published by Orbit for Illumicrate right at the bottom. So, you know, it's like extra special. An unmissable epic fantasy debut of uprising, espionage, and empire. I love spies. Serain is a soldier, stolen as a child and raised to kill and die for the empire. She owes loyalty only to her fellow conscripts, but now she has been sent back to her homeland to stop a rebellion and the types of blood may be stronger than she thought. Luca needs a turncoat, someone who can sway the rebels towards peace, while Luca focuses on what really matters, winning back her throne. Through assassinations and massacres, in bedrooms and war rooms. Oh, in bedrooms? Okay. Serene and Luca will haggle over the price of a nation, but some things aren't for sale. I love the synopsis for this because it's so vague yet it gives you what you need. I love short synopses. So this is really cool. This is definitely a book that I probably wouldn't have picked up by myself, but as you guys know, I'm trying to like branch out not only in genres, but also in age groups lately. So this is right up the alley that I'm trying to go down in, in 2020 so this is really really nice. I just can't with the sprayed edges. I literally cannot with the sprayed edges. It's so pretty. Honestly y'all, overall I am just so excited about this box. If I had to choose a favorite item. Okay, so I just like everything. Like I just like how everything is usable. I, I just, I can't. I can't. Don't make me choose. If there's something that Mel is unable to do is choose between a variety of things. So I am really happy with this month. Again, if you do want to sign up to a three month or six month subscription with Illumicrate, my code will be down below, but it is MelRead's5 for you to get 5% of your subscription. So just honestly, thank you so much to Illumicrate 2 for sending the box my way for review. This is just honestly, I still can't, I, I, it's so cool. It's cool. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what was your favorite item that came in the box this month, or if you've heard of The Unbroken, if you are looking forward to reading it, let me know. Let's just chat down below in the comment because I'm always peeping what you guys are saying. Let's leave a door <laughs> down below. Let's leave a door down below if you reach the end of the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this. I am always uploading content that I am sure you won't want to miss. I am also live streaming throughout the week, doing weekly reading sprints, and if you want more more exclusive content slash live streams and just more me. I also have a Patreon. It is always linked down below so you can check us out if you want to join us over at the Citadel. And alongside that, all of my socials are also down below so you can check those out. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I shall see you on the next one. Bye guys.